I don't know if I can do this. The water is freezing. I'm inside the water, actually. It was so freezing cold. My first reaction, my first thought was, there's no way on earth I'm swimming in these waters. That was my first reaction, and I have made up my mind by then. Hello friend, Daniel here with TalkMusicLicensing.com, bringing you the best tips and strategies for selling your music on royalty-free libraries. In this video, I want to talk to you about getting out of your comfort zone. It's very important as a composer and as an artist in general to really push the envelope when it comes down to what you think it's possible for you. Now, allow me to elaborate. The other day I went to the beach. It's very, very cold as I am <laughs> recording this uh, to go swimming here in Greece. Uh, as I am recording this, this is March. It's probably the coldest month to go for a swim uh, in the sea here in Greece. So I went for a walk, uh, a very close beach by that I have here uh, where I live. And uh, it's a 40 minute walk, walk from my house into a path. It's in the great outdoors. It's by a, uh, close to the sea and the mountainous uh, area as well. Very beautiful scene. Now, if you love the outdoors, <laughs> this is the place. So at the end of the path, there is this beautiful, beautiful beach. Uh, now that it's winter, obviously it's, it's not much people. People, they just go and chill out. They, they don't really go swimming. But the other day I decided to go for a quick uh, test, see if I was able to actually swim in this cold freezing waters. I've never done this before, by the way. I'm not the kind of guy who will go <laughs> and, and have cold showers or, or experiment with uh, cold temperatures when it comes down to swimming. I, I arrived there, it was really uh, windy that day. Uh, and there's nobody in the sea. Usually there's somebody swimming. A lot of people swim throughout the winter here in Greece. I just don't do it, or at least I haven't started yet. And uh, as I approach the, the beach uh, and I test the waters, okay, uh, with my fingers, with my hands, I say, like, oh, it's not that cold, you know, it's, it's, it's all right. So I, I am ready, I have my swimsuit and everything. Uh, obviously I'm, I'm fully dressed, like with a jumper, and, and I have a swimsuit uh, underneath my, my pants. And, and I say, like, okay, I'm just gonna uh, dip my feet in it, okay? And hold on a second before you switch off. What does this have to do with music licensing and uh, with pushing yourself? Uh, it was an experience that it got me thinking, uh, getting out of my comfort zone. So I, as soon as I, I dipped my, my feet in the water, it was so freezing cold. My first reaction, my first thought was, there's no way on earth I'm swimming in these waters. That was my first reaction. And I have made up my mind by then. I touch it with my feet. One thing is to touch cold water by the sea. You can try this by yourself. Try, try, touch it with your fingers. And another thing is to touch it with your feet, okay, with your toes. And it was just so freezing cold. I walked a little bit yeah, up and down uh, to get used to the idea of the water, uh, you know, just getting my body used to it. And, uh, but I've already made up my mind. I said, I'm not swimming. There's no way on earth I'm getting in there. So I was just walking with my feet. I said like, okay, I might as well just like enjoy a little bit of this. Uh, I was listening to a podcast as I'm enjoying this view and this experience. And the, the more I walked in the water, the more I got used to it. Next thing I know, I am at knee level and the water is at the knee. And that this is freezing cold water, very windy. Okay, and I said like, I can't believe I'm already at knee level. And, and then eventually, next thing you know, it's almost like at the waist. And then I said, like, you know what? I think I can do this, you know? Uh, and very quickly, uh, I, you know, I just took my, my shirt off and my, my jumper and everything, and I actually went inside the cold freezing water. I've never ever done this before. This was a very quick swim, of course. As soon as I got in there, I was a little bit in the shock. Okay, that was really cold, freezing. So I brought my other camera to bring it inside the water, but it's fucking freezing, man. Really, really cold. And I started swimming, uh, but it was a real uh, eye-opening experience for me uh, to say, what else can I do? You know, because this is this is completely me out of my comfort zone, right there and then. And the, the funny thing is how the brain tricks you, and how the body can really adapt so quickly. 
And, and I always try to push myself as much as I can, as a, not only as a composer, as an artist, but as, as a human being as well. What else can I accomplish? What else can I do? So the moral of the story and the point of this story is that your brain might be tricking you because when I touched that water, I already made up my mind that there's no way I was gonna do this. Uh, and next thing I know, 15 minutes later, or maybe 20 minutes later as I am getting uh, my body used to the cold of this water, and I realized that I can actually accomplish this and I actually did it. And I felt great afterwards. I felt like a, a, an accomplishment. Uh, so much so that I feel like I want to start swimming in the winter. I know it has a lot of uh, therapeutic uh, benefits and uh, especially after a 40 minute walk, which is the amount of time it took me um, to get to that beach. So it's just a quick storytelling here that I wanted to say to you, what else can you do? People that struggle with a lot of uh, insecurities, their brain is telling them that they can't do it and, and yet they, they have the ability, they have the skills and they, they have everything that they need in order to move forward. This is something that I really encourage you to uh, analyze and really uh, go deep down and see what else can you do. Uh, on my SML Mastermind uh, private group, we encourage each other to go forward and move in the right direction. It's a small mastermind group of composers where we are sharing our experiences. Uh, a lot of success is happening uh, as individuals and we encourage each other because at times we don't believe in ourselves and we need somebody else to encourage us and somebody else to believe in, in you, you know? So uh, I have been blessed with, with a lot of support throughout my career of that at times I wouldn't believe in myself and somebody else was believing in my abilities in, in, to succeed, to success. And if you wanna learn more about the SML Mastermind Group, uh, link in the description so you can um, join this group. Join the waitlist at this very moment, uh, doors are closed, but join the waitlist so you can be informed. Just a quick video that I wanted to drop here today uh, because I think it's an important story uh, and I wish I could have documented it better I was filming with my smartphone that day. I wasn't really planning to do a video, but uh, it was a great experience of how to push um, yourself and how the body adapts and how the brain is tricking us. Uh, immediately, we made up our minds and we say, this will not work or this is not happening. And actually the reality is that you can go further and faster than you can think. But anyways, this is just a quick video that I wanted to drop here today. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And as always, rock and roll, and here's to your success. I don't know if I can do this. The water is freezing. This is the coldest uh, month to have a swim here in Greece. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get in. I'm still wearing, wearing my jumper, and uh, I didn't want it to just get into the water without first going slowly. So at the moment, I'm just at knee level. I don't know if you can see it, but 